This webinar looks to the Dance Lab Day interdisciplinary workshops curated by the CovUni Culture Moves team, exploring the methodology behind them and the types of theoretical and practical activities they comprised. We also point you towards our tips for designing an interdisciplinary Lab Day style workshop. Culture Moves is a European funded project which explores the intersections of dance technology, site tourism, and the Europeana online library. The project runs for 18 months and the aims to develop a series of digital tools that will enable new forms of dance educational resources by leveraging reuse of Europeana archival content. Culture Moves aims to demonstrate the value of reimagining the ways in which content can be used to encourage dancers to develop their creativity. Central to the project is a consideration of how dance can create new forms of engagement to spread the knowledge of cultural heritage and also the history of a territory. The material body and the digital platform is a meeting place where the user can consider archives and the immaterial. The Culture Moves tools allow opportunities for artists, dancers and choreographers to reflect on different forms of collaboration and encourage new horizons for their practices through the creating of digital scrapbooks. Through the exploration of the digital content, which may include still or moving images, Europeana and the Culture Moves tools hope to encourage users to reflect on how we archive, remember the past and engage the live body. Ezra Orju and Nuosu claim that, quote, the fluidity, flexibility and permeability of culture does not allow it to be static, end quote thus allowing for artistic traditions and practices to cross-fertilize one another. Visual arts can have cross-cultural meaning, and so Europeana's digital content may instigate the live body to appreciate various cultural contexts. The user can come to know more about themselves, site, and cultural heritage legacies of that site through the unique process of engaging in a hybrid practice that the digital platform of the Culture Moves Toolkit offers. As a key part of the project, the team invited key stakeholders together to participate in a number of Culture Moves Lab Days or interdisciplinary workshops to explore these bigger questions of sight, dance, education, tourism, cultural heritage, and digital storytelling. We are here today at uh, the space of CDER, where we have a special occasion, which is a runner-up event to the Dance and Somatic Practices Conference, which is starting tomorrow. And with this occasion, we have organized this, uh, this, this workshop where um, in the morning, uh, key stakeholders from Coventry were able to participate in the lab day. And in the afternoon, participants to the conference, researchers, choreographers, uh, and dance artists who are more focused on somatic practices are going to join us into the session. Each of the sessions uh, starts with a small introduction um, to the Culture Moves project, uh, the activities that we, uh, that we do there and um, uh, what Europana is and how it can be used. Um, we continue then to explore in more details the um, a scrapbook tool, which we have developed within Culture Moves, um, and we give a small tutorial about it. Um, continuing afterwards uh, with the participants uh, having the chance to create their own accounts and to play around with the tool. We're very excited about the feedback that we have been receiving today over the course of, of the day, um, especially at the end of each session we have had a um, discussion round and uh, the participants were able to write post-its um, around the number of uh, questions that we have prepared for them. Um, one of the very um, nice things that we have found out um, is that uh, there are many more uses of the scrapbook tool than we initially thought about. So um, as you can see here, uh, the participants have thought of a number of ways in which they could use this and we're very excited to follow this up. On July the 4th, 2019, the Culture Moves team organised a hands-on workshop at CDARE, the Centre for Dance Research at Coventry University in the UK. The workshop took the format of a lab day and formed part of a pre-conference event for the 5th Dance and Somatic Practices Conference, which took place at CDARE between the 5th and the 7th of July 2019. The Dance and Somatic Practices Conference invited somatic practitioners, 
dance artists and dance scholars from a range of subject domains to debate and share investigations in the field of somatically informed dance practices. 2019's event also marked the celebration of the 10-year anniversary of the Journal of Dance and Somatic Practices. This was an auspicious occasion that was used by the Culture Moves Lab Day as a starting point for the practical tasks of the workshop. The main focus of this hands-on lab day was to demonstrate the first version of the tools developed within the Culture Moves project, more specifically Moves Scrapbook, a digital application which allows users to collect, manage and organise their own content or reusable content coming from Europeana. Using this tool it is possible to easily create scrapbooks for various purposes for example, for choreographers organising ideas and inspirational material as a starting point to creating a new work, or for dance lecturers and educators to document the progress of students towards creative assignments, and for students to support their practice and portfolio building. The scrapbooks created can be both private and public, displayed on the account of the Culture Moves portal, or embedded into an existing website or blog. Moreover, the visual nature of the scrapbooks make them ideal for sharing via social media. The Coventry Lab Day was organised in two distinct sessions, one in the morning with participants mainly from the academic educational field, and an afternoon session where mainly dance educators, practitioners and artists attended. In total, the Lab Day was attended by a very international crowd of 21 participants from several countries, including Germany, Brazil, Hong Kong and the USA. Both the morning and the afternoon sessions had similar setup. Following an initial welcome and introduction to the session, the participants were introduced to the Culture Moves project in general and the Move Scrapbook tool in more detail, using an interactive tutorial which explains the user journey from registration to publishing the first scrapbook. Following this, the participants had about one hour to explore the tool for themselves, uploading their content and creating scrapbooks. The Culture Moves team was in the room assisting the participants with any questions they had. The conversations that emerged during this period were an excellent occasion to collect unstructured qualitative feedback from the participants. Before the end of the session, the participants gathered together and were asked to answer anonymously a few questions by writing down their answers on post-it notes. The main question was, apart from organising ideas, how else do you imagine using the scrapbook tool? Other questions related to the topic of previous lab days such as the relationship between dance, public spaces and tourism, as well as the challenges faced by dance artists working in sight. Finally, the group of participants gathered together and had a small discussion around the topics explored during the day. The afternoon participants also had the chance to stay and work with renowned somatic dance author, researcher and educator Dr Martha Eddy and Sandra Golding, the UK's leading African holistic dance practitioner, during a movement workshop entitled Crossing Borders Respectfully, which offered participants a chance to dialogue about working with different styles of movement, analysis and body sensing, while interacting through dance and or somatic exploration with people of different races and cultures. The feedback received on the day was positive, with participants noting the ease of the use of the tool and the many possibilities that it could provide for supporting their work. This was especially important since one of the main goals of Move Scrapbook was to be user-friendly enough so that even users who are not well versed in using digital technologies were invited to use the tool. Moreover, the feedback informed further functionalities that could be implemented over the next few months, such as scrapbook visualisation options and additional content metadata editing capabilities. The discussions during the event also led to further opportunities for deploying the scrapbook tool in the lecture studio and the classroom, and for further lab days. The Culture Moves Cover Uni team curated a series of theoretical and practical lab day workshops 
with Europeana content and the tools to explore their potential for choreographic work. Lab days range from the discursive and theoretical, exploring questions of dance, site, cultural heritage and tourism, to the practical and hands-on, creating new choreographic movement scores in the dance studio, using the tools and Europeana content as a springboard for new dance material. Lab days took place across the UK in Coventry, Birmingham, Salford, Manchester, Leeds and Worcester, and brought together a wide variety of key stakeholders, dance artists, dance learners, educators, choreographers, programmers, and curators in settings as varied as universities, independent dance studios, regional dance houses, and industry conferences. For our very first two lab days, right at the beginning of the project, we engaged with key stakeholders with a range of profiles and experience. Choreographers, dance artists, dance researchers, dance educators, dance students, undergrad and postgraduate, and outdoor arts practitioners. Cove Uni chose to aim their first lab day at dance students in cultural heritage and dance organizations in the region, holding their first lab day in Birmingham, UK on the 15th of November, 2018. This took the format of an open panel conversation between choreographer Rosie Kay, Artistic Director of Dance Exchange and Artistic Lead for BIDF 2018, Lucy Merkova and Executive Director of Dance Exchange, Claire Lewis, to discuss dance, cities and working within site-based festival contexts. The context of the 10-year growth of BIDF, Birmingham International Dance Festival, framed the conversation, which drew out questions of how dance makers, artists, producers, and commissioners approach site-based dance work, and how key relationships can develop between dancers, arts, and cultural heritage org organizations within a festival context. The second lab day, held at CEDAR, Coventry University, UK, on the 19th of November, 2018, was geared towards dance researchers, professional dance artists, and festival producers and organizers. This event began with an illustrated talk by senior research fellow artist and choreographer, Rosemary Lee, followed by a panel discussion on dance, cities, and communities with Natalie Garrett Brown from Sensing the City, Jane Hitch, CEO from Imagineer Productions, and Sarah Wuki, dance artist, researcher, and CDER PhD candidate. Again, the rich three-hour discussion drew out questions of how artists approach site work. Key questions raised included how dance artists and students might engage with city planners and cultural policymakers, and how dance artists might claim tourism and the touristic gaze. The panel described how, while economically driven agendas may have huge impact on culture and tourism, dance, with its emphasis on flow and flux, might be a valuable means of making connections in the fragmented cities here in the UK's current socio-political context. On the 25th of February 2019, the Coventry University Culture Moves team met with 24 very engaged first-year architecture undergraduates to discuss design, public space, dance and cultural heritage. The undergraduates were working on a course project to design dance facilities both indoor and outdoor, along the Coventry canals. And so we're interested in meeting with the Culture Moves team to talk about the differences between dancing in studios and dancing in outdoor spaces. The morning began with a visit to three different dance studios in both the university's Alan Terry and Institute of Creative Enterprise buildings. We discussed what dancers require from a studio space and what a dancer's idea of an ideal studio might look like. The discussion then broadened into a look at site-based dance practice and what happens when dance occurs outside of the studio setting, such as in various spaces from museums and heritage buildings to National Trust Gardens, for example, and the impact that working and performing in these different settings has on the making and performing of the work for both choreographer and dancer, as well as for the audience. This enabled the students to begin to explore the ramifications for the design of indoor and outdoor spaces when these are used for dance making and performance and the ways in which architecture, dance and site interact. 
The students were then introduced to the wider Culture Moves project and the Europeana platform and spent some time at the Centre for Dance Research exploring the Culture Moves Dance Memory Space and Trace photo exhibit as a prompt to discussing dance and the design of public spaces. The exhibition opened onto a lively discussion of the overlap between choreography and architecture and how both dance and architecture are interested in form, volume, space and order and how both are potentially interested in telling the story of a place. Architecture lecturer Dr Tulika Gadakari said afterwards how much the students had valued the detailed visit to the Centre for Dance Research and how they were buzzing with ideas when they left the studio and very pleased to have a dancer's insight to help with their design process. We are now hoping to build on the connections which we have made with our colleagues and their students in architecture and together with our colleagues and friends of the project at the Sensing the City project we are currently planning further collaborative student workshops on movement and sensory experience to further investigate dance, public spaces, heritage settings and urban planning, especially in the context of Coventry City of Culture 2021. The project's connection with architecture students and the potential of move scrapbook and motion notes for architecture students with the emphasis on learning about the moving sensing body in space, possibly also alongside and interacting with dancers and dance students, has been ongoing. On September the 30th, 2019, the Coventry University Culture Moves team welcomed architecture tutor Sebastian Hicks and a group of 10 postgraduate architecture students to the digital art studio at CDARE, the Centre for Dance Research, for an afternoon lab day workshop exploring the Moves scrapbook and Moves collect tools and engaging with Europeana content as a springboard to discussing the relationships between dance, public spaces and tourism. After introducing the project's main concepts, Europeana and the digital toolkits, the Culture Moves team walked the students through IN2's online tutorial about the tools and offered them the opportunity to use the Moves scrapbook and the Moves Collect plugin to explore the Europeana digital library and to curate mini collections using content sourced from Europeana. The students also explored how the scrapbook tool might be useful for their own architectural practice for example, in collating project portfolios. Professional dancer Sarah McQueen was also present in the studio space throughout the lab day, responding to the students' engagement and interaction with the tools by creating improvised movement and new choreography. Sarah's observations of the collections created by the students culminated in the development of a new choreographic score that she performed for everyone at the end of the afternoon. Following the sharing of the new choreographic work, there was a rich discussion about architecture, dance, digital storytelling, body, space, site and tourism, as well as an opportunity for the students to give valuable feedback on the tools. The students were engaged throughout and the afternoon was a lively example of the potential richness of the interaction between dance, education and digital tools for content reuse. In November 2019, the Sea Dare Culture Moves team hosted a series of more hands-on practical lab day workshops. In early November, we met with artists, researchers, practitioners and dance experts across the north of the UK. Leeds with Slanjava Danza, Manchester, Anton Mirto and Amy Voris to undertake theoretical and practical explorations of Europeana and the Culture Moves, digital storytelling and dance annotation tools using the Moves Collect and Moves Scrapbook in Motion Notes. The first Culture Moves Playful Exploration Lab Day took place with Slanjava Danza Company in Leeds in November 2019. Slanjava Danza was established in 2004 by artistic director and choreographer Jen Ren, who aims to produce high-quality artistic dance productions in complementary education and participation programs. Inspired by real life, the arts, the sciences and human well-being, the company aims to entertain, inform and inspire the individuals and communities that it comes into contact with. The Culture Moves team worked with artistic director Jen Ren and dance artists and choreographers Leticia Cabezudo, 
and Charlotte Matisson to explore Europeana content and to create mini dance scores and consider the relationship between dance, public spaces and tourism. The Lab Day allowed participants to explore Europeana, the digital online library, the Culture Moves tools, and to create movement scores in the studio using the digital content as inspiration. Also in November 2019, the team presented the project and the toolkit with an interactive session and hands-on workshop at One Dance UK's International Conference Regenerations 2019 in Salford, UK. This biennial academic and artistic conference aims to share current practice and research in the field of dance of the African diaspora and to explore further research, documentation and approaches to education in the field. It was an exciting opportunity for the team to share the tools with a wide range of dance artists, practitioners, scholars, teachers and students from across the Caribbean, Africa, the United States, Canada and the UK. The Culture Moves team held a practical and interactive workshop inviting delegates to engage with the project's materials and also to have the space to discuss dance, diasporic digital content, the Culture Moves Toolkit and site practice in relation to their own work. The workshop aimed to offer delegates an opportunity to learn more about the project, the digital tools being developed, Moves Collect, Moves Scrapbook and Motion Notes, and Europeana as a case study for how digital technologies might be used for artistic innovation and creative practice through the reuse of digital content. The emphasis here was also on how the tools lend themselves to thinking about the way that content is curated online within social media platforms and how they can open up possibilities for what digital storytelling and counter narratives around diverse communities might look like. This lab day in Manchester, UK was focused on looking at the potential of the Motion Notes annotation tool with artist Anton Mirto of London-based A2 Company. Mirto and the team looked at annotating footage from Mirto's previous work to explore her choreographic and performance practice. This lab day with dance artist researcher Amy Voris took place in Manchester, UK. Amy's practice is process-oriented and collaborative driven by the desire to develop enduring relationships with people and with movement material, with the outcome of the work contingent on hunches and interactions that occur during the process, and varying widely. The Culture Moves team was in the studio with Amy and other regionally based artists, Danny Abelhauer, Sheila Deval madsen Ellen Jeffrey and Shelley Owen, to playfully explore Europeana and the Culture Moves tools, and especially the Motion Notes Annotator. After a series of successful Culture Moves Lab Days across the UK in November, the CDARE Cov Uni team held another Lab Day taking place on December 2nd, 2019, with several dancers from across the local region coordinated in junction with Birmingham Dance Network and taking place at the Dance Exchange in Birmingham, UK, where we held one of the very first Culture Moves Lab Day Coffee and Conversation events last year. Birmingham Dance Network is the go-to support network for independent dance artists, choreographers and teachers who live and work in and around the UK's second city. Led by a team of independent dance artists with diverse portfolio careers spanning performance, teaching, community dance, choreography and more, BDN aims to create opportunities to easily discover and connect with other artists, choreographers and teachers, as well as opportunities for professional development and training. Their main focus is contemporary dance, but they welcome artists with a range of artistic practices. BDN works across the city and regionally, connecting with other arts organizations to try to create the best professional development opportunities for the city's dance artists. For this Birmingham Lab Day, the team was thrilled to be working alongside BDN and six locally based dance artists and choreographers, which included Sophie Barraclaw, Rosie Cook, Stephanie Donahue, Shelley Eva Hayden, Floor Hall, and Rob Hemming. Between them, the six Lab Day participants have a vast range of professional dance expertise and a variety of dance styles. The dancers explored 
the Europeana site and content, thinking about space, memory, place, body, and trace, and what heritage, intangible cultural heritage, means to them as dance artists and choreographers. They then familiarize themselves with the Moves Scrapbook and Moves Collect plugin to curate material from Europeana and then create new choreographic scores in the studio. Finally, following the wealth of lab days that the Culture Moves team have undertaken, here are some tips on designing a project lab day interdisciplinary workshop, looking at the intersections of dance, cultural heritage and new technology. Designing a lab day. Carefully consider your project's proposed stakeholders. Highlight the rationale for and processes of identifying and involving key stakeholders. For example, for Culture Moves, we identified stakeholders from a range of profiles from the fields of dance, education and tourism. These included dance academics and researchers, teachers, students, education experts, choreographers, dance artists, producers and festival programmers, as well as DMOs, tourism operators, cultural heritage institutions, festival organisers and creative marketing agencies. Consider your existing networks to identify potential stakeholders within them and connections to further broaden your networks and the reach of the lab day. In the case of Culture Moves, a series of meetings was carried out to ensure that the proposed list of stakeholders considered a number of parameters. We wanted to ensure that we approached an equal number of male to female participants, that we not only extended the lab days to our current contacts, but extended the work to wider networks that could help further disseminate the project and Europeana. Take care to ensure an equal balance of gender ratio, demographics, etc. Through an inclusion of diverse voices in well-programmed lab days, the project will gain an increased understanding of the assumptions, limitations, relationships and intersections between sectors. Conduct a survey of existing research and practice in order to consider how the chosen project seeks to address the gaps in research and how these can be explored through the lab day. Define the clear purposes of the proposed lab day, for example, to engage in in-depth consultation with key stakeholders, to begin to identify the key questions and assumptions that underlie existing and potential collaborations between sectors, to capture the voices of key stakeholders and offer them an opportunity to learn about the project. Consider the format of the lab day. Might it be a curated panel discussion, a day of more formal presentations, or an interactive workshop. In the case of Culture Moves, lab days to date have consisted of formats as diverse as a short coffee and conversation hour, an illustrated talk by a guest speaker followed by a guest panel and Q&A session, fuller presentations, interactive and practical workshops exploring dance and Europeana content, and a co-creation workshop where participants actively collaborated on designing scenarios and practical proposals of the use of dance and audio video content as a promotional instrument of tourism destinations. Carefully consider the intended audience and participants for the lab days. The format of the lab day will necessarily depend on the invited stakeholders and participants and should be curated specifically for them. In the case of the Culture Moves Coventry University lab days, for example, one was geared more towards dance students and cultural heritage and dance organisations in the region, whilst the other was tailored more towards dance researchers, professional dance artists and festival producers and organisers. Consider the reach of the lab day. Is the thinking local, regional, national? How might this affect the design and programming of the lab day, timing and scheduling, for example? Define a comprehensive working question set to use as a basis to discussion. Ensure that this is circulated to invited speakers and guest panellists beforehand in good time. In the design of a lab day, consider any budget restrictions, and specifically when working with independent, self-employed and freelance artists. Take care to carefully consider their needs. 
How are they to be compensated for their time, for example? Financially, covering travel expenses and their time, or through in-kind support? For example, with Culture Moves, we invited key artist stakeholders to become friends of the project, with the offer to disseminate information about their performance work through the project website and social media channels in exchange for their time at a lab day. How might a lab day then become a useful networking opportunity for all involved? Think of creative and innovative ways to work towards inclusivity of various voices throughout the lab day. For example, during the Culture Moves Lab Days, the Dance, Memory, Space and Trace photo exhibition was co-curated by a number of key stakeholders. CEDAR, the Centre for Dance Research, was keen to transform the space for the Coventry University Lab Days and allow the invited artists and panel members to showcase one image from their practice or previous projects. In preparing these lab days, it emerged that there were many visuals that conveyed aspects of projects and moments that revealed highly emotional, political, social interactions between the dancer, the site and the public. This point felt like an important aspect to build on and to capture, which then encouraged the CDAIR team to ask the artist to contribute a memory which was connected to the image or the project that they were going to be speaking about during the lab day. In addition, several key stakeholders were unable to attend these events and so were invited to contribute via the photo exhibition. This further broadened the reach of the lab day and ensured involvement from key stakeholders who were unable to be physically present on the day. The photo exhibit continues to grow and has now become a key part of more recent lab day interventions in the project and our dissemination activities. Consider any ethics issues. Remember consent forms for participants' consent to take part in research, to be audio and video recorded, and so forth. Finally, think about how you will document the lab day and disseminate information through it. For example, documenting through photography and video, ensuring permissions are in place beforehand, live tweeting, sharing images, comments via social media, or a blog post post-event. Thank you.